a drink and uh, we're going to do it live. Funny story, Rose. Daddy used to make this for holiday parties. Yeah, Daddy used to do it. But probably last time was five years ago. Remember, I brought it and then made it at Aga's house for that party and people flipped out because no one really makes homemade eggnog these days. They buy it from the store. But I've been on the quest to get or find the ultimate Bobby approved eggnog for two years now, Rose, before you were alive. And we can't do it, right? The closest I can get is like Organic Valley, but it still has more sugar than I want. So I'm gonna make a homemade creamy eggnog with pasture-raised eggs, grass-fed milk, organic cream, maple sugar, and maybe a little bit of booze. And we're gonna bring the eggs up to temper so they're pasteurized. That way Rostein can have it without booze, of course, Rostein. Yeah, what do you, do you hear me? Something in there? Should we get the liquid out? So that's what's going on. And then I'm gonna pop some dinner in the oven and it's gonna be super chill. Nothing's gonna get lit on fire tonight, all right? And we're gonna have a good old time. Say hello to the one and only Arthur T. Almasy the third. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Can you take that one from your rose? Happy Thank Friday. You. As Ann Wilson just Very said. Very rare that we actually eat dairy. But Desi's like, oh, we should do it with coconut milk and almond milk. And you probably could do it because coconut milk has the same consistency of cream. And then almond milk has the same consistency of milk. So you probably could do it. I just want to keep it... Uh, OG, right? The real deal. Last night, a Hanukkah is tonight. A happy Hanukkah to all my fellow Jews watching. Jackie had him Spiegel. A little bandage up here today. And I didn't notice the burn until we were eating dinner. I'm like, oh, my, my hand really stings. Well, my hand really stings. And there's a, you saw the community, a little bit of burn here. But I have some red cabbage mashed up with uh, egg whites. I'm doing a Grandma Donnie from Bulgaria. Uh, you want to come down or go up? Julio Yu says, Miss Steak Dinner Show was epic. Yeah. <laughs> epic is one word for it. What do you want to get out of there, sweetie? Hello, huh? everyone. So let's get going. Hey, we already got going with a super chat here. Oh, nice. Ken Lewis, $10, Ken. number one fan. That pair knows Thank what's Thank you, going Ken, on. boy. Look at this. Look nice at this fridge. And Edgewater, fridge. We should do a fridge tour later on. Right? Is there something you want? Hmm? Anything? Hmm? You let me know what you want. Do you want some, uh, some milk? Some uh, almond milk? Here, let's give you a little almond milk. Actually, you know, let's, you know what I bought just to try it out? This is Peely Nut Coffee Creamer, and she really likes it. It's like so thick and rich. Apparently, Julio says that I need to rub my hands like Mr. Miyagi to heal the wound. <laughs> yeah, I got a uh, good I, feedback. I forgot about that. On the community tab today, they said to put lavender on there. They said to put uh, mm -hmm. Manuka honey, but it's still blistered. So I did what uh, Desi's mom, Rose's grandma in Bulgaria said. Uh, Baba. Baba. To put some uh, mashed cabbage with an egg white. And then she said, if you really want it to heal quickly, urinate into a bowl and soak your hand in there for 15 minutes and i'm down for that too i don't care i'll do whatever it takes uh, more kale, what the kale hacker says eggnog's pretty safe tonight i don't know about that yeah we'll, see. well eggnog and then i got some salmon that i picked up at costco today and i have some uh yes yeah, salmon and a little bit of um sweet potatoes in the oven so we got to eat we can't just live off of uh, eggnog alone we can't? we can't but i mean there's really not enough what type of bourbon is going to go into that eggnog you'll see bradley some water Okay, so in the meantime, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, all that good stuff. It's Fridays with Flav, and we're hanging out, having a good time. Arco Stealthy Style, say hi to everyone. I will do that. There, there he is. is, the bearded wonder, Arthur T. <laughs> Cooper the Great. <laughs> Be a good friend, Art, and pee on Bobby's hand. <laughs> I have my own pee, don't worry. Yeah, I don't, we don't want that. Nobody wants that. I don't want to do that. He doesn't want me to do that either, so. Rub if I ass. needed him to, I, Art would do it for me. I know that. I don't know if I would. Okay. You would do it. Yeah, of course, I'm a little friend. That's just weird, though. It sounds like a friend's episode. We were talking the office last night. Now we'll start talking friends, right? The jellyfish episode. Art would. Virginia Beach in the house. Betty O, the third ATA. Okay, so we have Maggie to start B. by Dania Beach. adding four egg yolks to the bowl with some maple sugar. Dirk is having Korean short ribs for dinner. Ooh, now he's got the leftover. I'm going to have this it. recipe. I'm going to do four eggs total. So I need, boom, uh, I need four egg yolks in here. So first I'm going to crack them in here. Actually, Rose can show off her skills. Can you crack the egg for Daddy? Thank you. And then I'll need another one too. 
Oh, you're fast. You're too fast for dad. She's getting so good, you guys. It's crazy. Wow, look at that beautiful pasture-raised yolk rose. Yeah, you want, oh, we don't have to whisk it this time because we're not making breakfast. Go to my Flav City Facebook page, and we posted a really cute uh, video of our breakfast uh, this morning. We made pancakes and eggs. And also, if you want to join the Flav City Facebook group, uh, it's all about you guys and fans. There's a bunch of people on there. It's super fun. So I need four eggs. Ooh, yeah. When you take vitamins, the pee is more yellow. So I wonder if that increases the healing properties. Let's stop talking urine. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry I brought it up. Ooh, woo, look at that strong girl. Strong girl. There we go. Strong, you see that? Yeah, that's you, Rose. Okay, Rose, daddy needs to fish out. One, is that a shell there? Or is that a blood spot or something? I think it's a blood spot, actually, yeah. Hey, look at that, it's a blood spot. I'm going to surgeon. I'm going to surgically remove the blood spot. Oh, Amy, I, I, I'm not getting uncomfortable. I just don't think people want to talk urine for an hour or two here. No, but I appreciate the recommendations in the community tab today. So we, we need... Chat yes, talk to me. La La Girl. Oh, Diana. 55. I like three fives in a row. Sounds like a fake phone number. Hi, guys. This is the first time my favorite sister at Debbie Estrada and I are watching. Oh, Debbie, you're with. At the same time. Wow, we Debs. love you guys. You're too legit. Too, Too legit, legit to, to quit. quit. Hey, hey, hey. Thank Debs. Thank you, Lala. So we're going to separate the egg yolks. Look at that, bros. What do you think of that? Bum, 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 bum. Look at that big booger, huh? Which uh, coconut oil do you like better, the Thrive or the Costco? Um, I like the Thrive Market regeneratively grown. Uh, virgin coconut oil a little bit better, but obviously the Costco one's still great, and it's, the, uh, it's a little cheaper. Do you put ginger in eggnog? Um, you can Absolutely. Do you? Um, I don't. Okay. I think I got a little too much egg uh, white in this part. Avinash is waiting for the rose approved logo. Oh, yeah. I like the idea of that. That sounds good. Okay. Oop, rose. Egg yolks separated from the egg whites. Thank you, Rose. Now we'll take this. Check this out, Art. You can't find this at any store. This is from Thrive Market. It's maple sugar, it's granulated, dried, crystallized maple syrup. So I'm swapping out king sugar for this recipe, Rose, with maple sugar. You can probably do it with coconut sugar too, but that's a pretty strong flavor. This is gonna be lovely. Is nutmeg involved? Yeah, there's gonna be nutmeg garnish for sure. Um, yeah, Thrive isn't sponsoring this video today, but thrivemarket.com slash Bobby always gets you a free gift when you sign up and 30 days risk free. Maple sugar is amazing. So we're gonna add uh, the egg yolks to uh, the bowl with a quarter cup of the sugar. Are you going to use brandy? Uh, we have Remy Martin or we have bourbon. We can do either or. Can we get a close-up of Rose's apron? Well, maybe we can. It should be on Desi's uh, Amazon Desi shop page. Apron, and this is Rose. Should be at uh, Amazon.com slash shop slash, uh, de uh, slash Desi underscore art. I think mommy's in the back. Rose. Oh, I should have brought those. Go to Jang says, Do you have Marty Moose mugs to put the eggnog in? I, a friend of mine gave me the uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation mugs. This is the sugar. You want to add it? I should have brought those. Do you add the sugar to the bowl? Thank you. It's getting really good. Okay, now we got we to gotta mix it up, Rose. We're going to use the uh, hand mixer and we're going to beat it until it's uh, incorporated and light and creamy. Oh, also, a couple things going on. Check this out, Art. I should get some books out here. I have. Two exciting things for you guys tonight. I have immune tea. We're sold out, but Erica has a few left. She put 50 on the website. If you want the Flav City immune tea, it's only open for YouTube for the next hour. Uh, click on that link. This is my immunity tea. And Art and I are going to sign some cook. Oh, you know what? I have to release some more cookbooks. Release them. I'm going to release 30 cookbooks right now. And they won't be there in time for Christmas, but they'll come afterwards. Release the hounds. I'm going to release the hound right now. Where is this? Uh, Shopify. Uh, La La Girl, I have asked myself that question too. How did I forget those moose mugs? I don't think I really knew for a fact going into the day that, that it was going to be uh, eggnog night. Had I known, I can guarantee you that I probably... Would have remembered. Can you go Maybe. over to the computer and release 30 uh, cookbooks of the uh, 30 copies of the cookbook, please? Maybe almost definitely. Please. That's right, Rachel Murray. Release the Kraken. Re release the Kraken, Rachel. Yeah. Just doing it for you guys. I didn't tell anyone else about the tea. I didn't tell anyone else about the books. It's just for you. Uh, we're selling out every single drop, but I wanted to release 50 of these just for you. We'll talk about it more later on. 
And D, if you're watching, look what I found in my freezer this morning when I was looking for keto bread. D brought that yesterday. I can't wait to hit that stuff hard. Can you show the amount of sugar in there, Art? So a serving. Shopify on uh, a serving is 3.6 ounces. How many total ounces do we have? Insane. There's two servings in here. Okay, so then one of them is 55 grams of sugar. Insane. 55 grams of sugar. That is diabetes right there. It is insane. In the membrane. Has this been sitting out the whole time? Uh, whole time. Last, last 40 minutes? Oh, okay. Wow, I thawed pretty quick. I was yeah. hoping it still be pretty darn frozen. Maybe you can have that with your eggnog. I may have to. I think that's, I think that's in order. That's what the holidays are all about. Hey, I plan to try some more of that. Perfect. I'm not going to eat the whole they thing. They planted it in my freezer thinking I wouldn't find it, but then this morning I was looking for some keto bread. Well, no, no, no. We, we knew you'd find it. It's just not that quickly. hoping it wouldn't be the next day. Yes. Why well, I wouldn't have, but I was looking for some keto-based culture bread this morning for roasting, and I'm like, what is this deal? I'm like, Viviana. Dark. Oh. Dark. Viviana, this stuff pairs so well with a lime marita. I guarantee <laughs> that. And some cheese balls. We're going to beat this up here. So it's nice and incorporated. Hi, Rose. You are so cute. I love Look watching you and Daddy in the kitchen. Can Daddy or Art give a shout out to Carol in Norway, Michigan? I didn't know there was a Norway, Michigan, but hello, Carol. Rose shout is eating a Siete uh, Bunuelos, limited edition. Very hard to find at the store now. The coconut sugar cinnamon chips, and they're unbelievable. So we're going to beat this up a little bit. <laughs> Yesterday's live didn't go viral. I should have changed the thumbnail to a giant fireball. Dude, I already did a screenshot of that. You should put that on there. Bunuelo down. Where do I go to get the cookbook? So you can either go... Oh, i got to put the, uh, the link there, too. Hold on. So, the link there is for Amazon, but let me do the uh, Flave City one here, hold on. Slash buy quickly, yeah. Let me put it there. There we go. Is it released now? The Kraken has been released. Can I'm going to put the link right here. Can you please release the Keto Cookbook for Autograph, too? Uh, we don't have any of those, but I need to do that, yes. Signed Cookbook. Sarah, this recipe is not in the cookbook. No, definitely not. Although it is a five-ingredient recipe, and it is best-in-class ingredients. All right, it's there, guys. Refresh your browser. Uh, Flavorcity.com slash buy cookbook. Look at that. Art. That looks nice. Now, to make this safe for everyone to eat, we're going to pasteurize or bring the uh, eggs to temperature. Some recipes don't actually call for it. If you look up uh, Alton Brown's recipe or Bon Appetit, they don't do that. And it's fine. If you have quality eggs like we're using, it's totally fine. But just by pasteurizing it, uh, it's, how many chips you just put in your mouth, Rose? <laughs> You're gonna be a little safe. All of them. <laughs> just put a ton of boon whalos okay. in your mouth. What's that but line? It, oh, um, um, um. Is that the Ro line from show her mouth. Rose, Professional? Can we show how many boon whalos you have in your mouth right now? Huh? How many boon whalos? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Bring me all of them. How many? All of them! <laughs> you scared her. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got to uh, add uh, a cup of steaming milk now. <coughs> what, is, uh, what is the Bobby Approved app called in the App Store? Well, it's not in the App Store yet, but when it is... It's going to be called Bobby Approved. Yeah, that was kind of an error in judgment on our side because... We thought the app would be ready um, by the time the book came out, but it's not. So I'm literally getting a dozen emails every day. I bought the book. I love it, but I can't find the Bobby approved app. And I just copy and paste the response now, but everyone's cool about it. Okay, so uh, let's see. One cup of steaming milk while whisking, and then we'll uh, bring it back over the heat and uh, pasteurize it. I'll use this pot here. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? That was not intentional, Maggie B. <laughs> oh, we're doing, um, if anyone lives in Chicago and wants to help us scan at the grocery store like we did. We don't need more people. <clears throat> Just email anyway. If you're in Chicago, you want to help us scan in the near future, support at flavecity.com. Support at flavecity.com. And we'll do a meetup at uh, Costco or Aldi or Whole Foods and, and do a scanning party. Name in town, name in town, name in yeah, town. Yeah, that's right. All right, so we're just going to bring this 
could you use heavy cream? Well, we are. We're using milk and heavy cream. So this is a best in class Bobby approved. Honestly, it shouldn't be like in a holiday book I do because have you ever seen an eggnog with organic pasture raised eggs, organic grass fed milk and organic cream? The answer is no. Well, I've actually looked at almost every one on the market and they're scary. But yes, you want to use cream and milk to get super, super rich and delicious. So I'm going to bring that to temperature. I'm going to slowly add it. Otherwise, if I add it too fast, what happens are the hot milk. Oh, you're going to like have scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. For dinner. What's the, uh, all right. calls the Frasier song? Scrambled eggs. Oh. Yeah. Baby, I hear the blues are calling. Swiss. Toss salad and scrambled eggs. Toss salad and scrambled <laughs> eggs. <laughs> um, and then. Hello, Seattle. Or something like that. And then we're going to uh, put the mixture back in the pot, bring it up to 160 Fahrenheit very slowly because what happens then, Art? Uh, you pasteurize it. Exactly. We pasteurize it. We kill any potentially harmful pathogens, meaning Rostein can have a sip. And then for the adults, if we want, you guys choose. Should we use Remy Martin 1738? Or Tom was asking, this is a really good bourbon from a DeKalb, Illinois distillery called Whiskey Acres. It's a bunch of farmers who decided to uh, make bourbon. They hired the head distiller from Maker's Mark to teach them and the rest is history. And the cool thing is during COVID in the beginning, they stopped making bourbon and made hand sanitizer, which is really cool. Uh, use them both. Bourbon, 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 bourbon. We're doing bourbon. 1730, you're going away, Remy. Hey, Remy. <laughs> this is America. We drink bourbon. <laughs> right? Yeah, Remy's too strong, says Sophia. Somebody didn't ask, uh, can you use Everclear? Uh, I suppose Again. you could. You're not yeah. going to get much flavor profile Again, as we talk asked, about. But... Yeah, so we got about 900 people watching. Welcome to Fridays with Flav. We're about to make eggnog. We're about to throw some salmon in the oven. Please leave comments down below. Let us, where you're let us know where you're watching from. Uh, very special just for you guys today. We have 30 cookbooks of the new number one best-selling cookbook that we're going to autograph and get them off next week. They won't be there in time for Christmas, but they'll be there in time for New Year and all that good stuff. So act quick down below. And this is our sold out best-selling Flav City immune tea. So <clears throat> this is my first ever product. On the blog, I have a very popular recipe for ginger turmeric immune tea. Well, I decided to make that into a shelf stable powdered tea form as my first product. So this is lemon, turmeric, ginger, monk fruit, MCT, black pepper, best in class anti-inflammatory, immune boosting ingredients, shelf stable, 30 day supply in here. We're sold out, but Erica has a backup supply. I called her before the live stream and I said, release the homes of 50 units. So right here, Art, there's 50 units only available. Click here, go to shopflavecity.com, order. That will be sold out, I can promise you, by the end of the night. Uh, if you want the book from Amazon, which I highly recommend you do, this is our new cookbook, Five Ingredients Semi-Homemade Meals, a number one bestseller in multiple categories. You're gonna love it for the chef in your life, the home cook in your life. Please, once you order it, leave a review. We have 500 five-star reviews, which is amazing. And if you want the signed copy too, click this link. It takes you to our blog. Stangman wants to know if he can use rum. Yeah, rum is actually probably even more uh, traditional, to be honest. Is it? Really? I, I was, think so. I was thinking uh, brandy. Uh, brandy? Uh, I don't know. Probably brandy and rum. Somebody said, is rum, or sorry, is whiskey rum or is rum whiskey and... It's a dis they're all distilled spirits, but I don't think you'd call a rum a whiskey. I think rum is really dis the 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 two that are very yeah rum is uh, from sugarcane. Sugarcane, yeah. Um, whiskey and rye are very similar. Uh, rye is made from primarily rye. Whiskey has to be made from fifty one percent corn or more. That's what's going on there. And then we'll need how much of this? We'll need one cup of the heavy cream here. So it's whiskey and scotch or similar. Yeah. Yeah, so I did one cup, make sure, but one cup of that and one cup of this. So it's one cup each of cream and milk, and it's gonna be silky and smooth, as Art and I like to say. Okay, so this is warm. Is it what are the dairy free options for this? We'll talk about that in a minute. But not now. But not right now. I'm pretty sure we can do it. 
And I'll tell you how. Uh, Rachel Murray says, Italians use half rum and half brandy. Ah. Check this out, Art. So I have very, very hot milk here. You want to tap it in. Tap it in very slowly. Otherwise, you scramble the... Oh, don't pour it on your mixer. That's not a good thing. Thank you, Art. I can't hear you. Oh, in the measuring cup? Oh, that's... That's being used right now. You know what? I like that. That's a better idea. Denny M wonders if that was your Adam Sandler impression. Curtis Nation. Yes, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Hello, well, I'm going to pour it in here. That's a great point. Thank you, Desalina. Cynthia Bartal is excited. I finally got to order the tea. Thank Not, you. I did it just for you guys. For you wild and crazy guys. All right, so now I can just stream it in here. Weak stream. Like a live stream? Yeah. Live stream, weak stream. Conan's weak stream. And then as you add more, you can actually start to tip it in quicker because you've already tempered the mixture. I feel like we're making ice cream here. Yeah, I mean, we kind of are. You already added the sugar to it? Yes. Okay. It's amazing. When I'm reading comments, I just like tune everything else out. <laughs> Elena, four ninety nine. Bobby, what are your thoughts about eating with your blood type? Because a lot of good food is not recommended with my blood type, such as fish and lentils, etc. I don't believe in that personally. Yeah, uh, Milwaukee Brewer. I find that these uh, Pyrex jars, or suck. measuring cups. Well, you need to pour a steady stream, like there's yeah. a minimum stream required. There's got to be a better company. What does Cooks Illustrated say? You should look that up. I bet Anchor is better than that. that, that they're all pretty similar. It's like you got to go, these are go terrible. too slow. These are terrible. I think this is too much. Like 55 miles per hour minimum. <laughs> Let's see if this. So now we'll return it back. Whoa. It's like we're making ice cream here. Frothy city. I wonder if I, if I beat it too much. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. I want to use another no. Yeah, I got to get it. This is way too small. Amy Sanders. Art, do you love eggnog? You know what? I don't know that I've ever had homemade eggnog. I think I tried it from a package once, and I was like, eh, it's not my thing, but I'm excited to try some homemade eggnog. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I don't think I've ever had it. I just want to see how this looks. And if you're shocked, I'm sorry. Yeah, this looks good. So look, if you go under the bubbles here, bubbles. the mixture, we didn't scramble it. Oh, it's kind of hard to see right now, but it'll, the bubbles will go You want to strain it or anything in case you scrambled any of it? Uh... Never mind. Nah, I feel pretty good. <laughs> Too late. I feel pretty confident. Too late. Apologize. I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't uh, beat it too much. And now I'll bring it back uh, and just put it over low heat. Yeah, go to Jang raises an interesting point here. I think it would taste better if it wasn't called eggnog. Yeah, the name isn't the most pleasant. I agree, actually. That's a good point. Yeah, Milwaukee Brewer, the parking pass is already attached to my car. <laughs> so make sure it's attached in case it needs to stay the night. So for 160, what's the best way to kind of like make sure this is in here all the time? You need like that little clip gizmo the clip, that you right? have, right? Or do you? Uh, oh, uh, let me see. I don't think it came with this one. In, in five minutes, it will be there. Just don't use anything flammable. Yeah, no, no, we're staying away. Well, the stove is flammable, but... Yeah, we'll just, we'll do that. A timer for five? Sure. Or we can have you, you know, riveting yes, footage of you just holding the thing there and talking as we bring it up to temperature. True. I think they want to see that. We're already at uh, 121. A bobby pin to keep it in place. Yeah, I don't even know what a bobby pin is. <laughs> the color looks great because of the pasture raised eggs. So you think about five minutes, Ben? Is it worth coming over there? You need like constant stirring, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. So, no sense standing that far back. This would be a great Thermomix recipe, guys. Oh! Marty. Oh my God, Thermomix would be perfect for this. That's a grand point. What about vanilla? You put vanilla in there? Um, a little shtickle might be okay, but after the heat, because if you cook it, yeah. you burn it off. We're at 117, 118 right Richard now. Richard Marcotte with a $10 super chat. Hey, everyone. Just a quick drop in today. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Gonna go hang with the family I live with. Be safe. And what is up with the kitchen cabinet doors? Oh, they're being repainted. They are, like got tons of like scratches and the paint was wicking away from there. So uh, they needed some touch up because this is the heavy duty area over here. 
So after this is done, we'll add the cream. And then ideally you want that to sit for about four hours or better overnight so the flavors develop. And then you beat the egg whites and uh, then you fold that in and it gets like so frothy. And you could add um, the vanilla then, the booze, all that stuff. Arwen says the Dutch version is called advocaat, which sounds nicer than eggnog. Oh, that is pretty classy actually. Yeah. And then we'll beat the egg whites. Probably transfer that to a separate bowl. Stainless Katarina, steel Katarina, Art, what is your all-time favorite band? And sing me a song from them. I think this should be like a trivia question. I think people here know who my all-time favorite band is. Uh, answer Katarina's question, if you know the answer. And Probably 142 already I'll does. I'll see if I feel inspired by any song of theirs at some point here. It's happening quickly, y'all. It looks like Agnag already forgot to. Oops. It's not Queen, they're a great band, but more recent than that, but not really recent. Oh, so, someone was asking about dairy-free. I would use almond milk and coconut milk from the can because coconut milk from the can has a very similar texture of heavy cream, and almond milk is meant to mimic the texture of cow's milk, so it'd be good to go. Yeah. If you want to make a really good one, you can use, um, like, milk. Milk and then the uh, native forest coconut milk. You're good to go. Norma and Alan girl know what's going on. You too. That is the answer. So staying man and Viviana. Oh, Alan, thank you so much. That was very... Alan sent a nice present for Rose and Art and myself. It was very sweet of you. Thank you, Alan girl. Many thanks and welcome. Yeah, you too is Art's favorite. Art and I have been is. to many of you two concerts. Yeah. Bobby's my you uh, two concert partner mm -hmm. in crime. They're coming to town. Okay, they're coming. You want to go? Sure. <laughs> How many do you think we've been to? I could probably count, but I can't do it right now while I'm filming. Ah. All right, we're at 156. We're just about there, y'all. Any potentially harmful pathogens are going to die. They're going to go down to hell of sight and get down there. Something like that. The four seasons, so we can hear some high notes, okay? All right, 160. Done. All right. All right, all right, all right, or just all right? Uh, not yet. We're, I'm, not, I'm not feeling all right, all right, all right yet. Okay. Add the cream and oh. remove from the heat. Alan Girl says, of course. Please let Bessie know hers just came in the same email provided. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Wow, this looks really good. Our look favorite right. singer, though, is Cardi P. Take a look at this now. Wow. We just put the heavy cream in there. This looks unbelievable already. This is a post-workout uh, muscle building. Yeah. Uh, it's it not is. Egg, though. <laughs> it's build the muscles. Okay, now I actually want to strain it just in case. There's something. You want to come up? There's a little something, something in there. Debbie, which tour did you see him at the Rose Bowl on? Jesse, can you uh, break out a stainless steel bowl and uh, start beating the uh, egg whites for me if you don't mind? Sixty tour, the one that. Yeah, yeah, you need those too to make them super frothy. Or did you see them elsewhere? Oh, whatever in the bowl there. I got the bowl already. Four. Yeah, I don't want to beat it in that small bowl. It's better to beat egg whites in the uh, stainless steel bowl, the one you have in your hand. Right, Rostin? Rosie, I gotta get it out. Oh, baby, I hear the blues are calling. Tall salad and scrambled eggs. Yeah. We oh, got a super chat that. here. Yeah, yeah, Shannon. Yeah, I'll wash them some water. Try not to talk over the okay. conversation. Four, four, three or four, 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 okay, let me just wash your uh, mixer things here. So, Gabby oh, Von de like Vort. Whoa. Lots of shells in here, man. Shells? Uh, what? Gabby Von de Vort gave a one euro ninety nine. Oh, thanks, Gabs. And a rose emoji. So, like our, our actual rose picture, I should say. So, we thank you, Gabby. Thank you, thank you. Nine, I'm assuming that's for <laughs> rose. Excuse me. Yeah, spit. Like a pig. Yeah, Amy, I, like I said, you two is more recent than Queen. <laughs> by a whopping six years. I knew it was only you got, a All right, why do you have to clean the egg yolks off your mixers before you beat the egg if whites? If you add any fat to those egg whites, you're going to have problems. Oh, no. So egg whites are fat phobic. They're what? They're afraid of fat. Yeah, they're, they're, there's no That's fat there. terrible. Egg whites should know it to be more sensitive. That's a, that's terrible. The more eggnogs, the more sensitive side of egg whites. <laughs> I don't know what that's <laughs> Hey, Rosie. Come on up. Come on over. Egg whites Come and yolks together at last. Baby. Aside from all the time in the shell. Right? Woo! Let's get you 
Away from the bourbon. How about that? Uh, yeah, Sherry Clark, a, a copper bowl. Rose is signing the cookbook already. Oh, nice, Rose. You can, Sherry Clark brings up an interesting point here. Uh, a copper bowl is awesome for beaten egg whites if you got one. Whoever placed the first order tonight is guaranteed to get a Rose signature happening right now. Watch how good she is at signing books. It's actually kind of scary. Rose, can you sign this book for Danny? Perfect. Thank you. Pause. Amazing. <laughs> oh, you just colored your hand black. Chef Jay says wash your hands. I just did. I did I'm just too. reading what they say. I did too. Can I see your hand, Rose? There's a marker on there now. I think I'm going to keep the schnott all over there. I don't want you taking the thing off. There's black ink all over here, sweetie. This yeah, you don't want to use a plastic bowl for beaten egg whites because uh, yes. what Elton Brown says is... Uh, the chemical structure of plastic and oil is pretty similar. And uh, once you get some fat in the plastic bowl, it's hard to get 100% of it out, and that could interfere with your egg white beating. So stick to a stainless steel or glass or copper, even better. I've never heard of copper. Copper bowls are fancy. Copper bowls are That's for fancy, amazing. fancy like art. Hey. What can I fancy say? Fancy loss like art. Let's see who placed the first order tonight. It was. Dun, 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 dun. Danita! Danita, you placed the first order. We got an order from Evelyn, Roxy, Charmaine, and Eddie. Danita is guaranteed to have this book. How's Johnny just... P? Mitch, he's uh, going to read the book before he gets. <laughs> uh, he's doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. So, once again, limited quantities. We only have 30 signed cookbooks available with the link down below. So if you want it, we also have the Amazon link down there and for the Flav City Immune Tea. I don't want to give this to you because you're, you're going to pull it off. Anything else in here? Yeah, you're just beating those to, let me see. Oh, Milwaukee Brewer, $15. Ever run into no. Thrive products that use switch sweetener? A component sorry, is I'm sorry. fructo oligosaccharides. No, I've never heard of switch. At first glance, it seems okay because it's something the body doesn't really absorb. What do you think? No, I haven't heard of that name. There's another one that sounds familiar with, uh, to that. I forget what it's called, but eh, I don't know. Let me do I, some research. I'm so not fancy, young girl. And then once they're, uh, let's add a couple of tablespoons of sugar once it gets nice and frothy. Do you need to use like an ice bath to cool down no, your egg nog? Ice now. bath? Yeah, to cool down your nog. Yeah, you could. Oh, Tori Castellano, that's so nice. $20 super chat. Your weight loss preps will be great after all these holiday goodies. Yeah, you know it, Tori. Uh... Yes, he washed his hands, Rick Rick. Yeah, I, can just put, I can just put this in a bowl of ice. Yeah, our... that's right, Ray. Ray wants to cool it down. Ray Farrell's excited to give away the cookbook to friends and family. He's ar armed with a whole lot of cookbooks. Here, we'll put this. This is from the Arts Days of Barkeeping back in the day, right? Art. Sure. There we go. Just cool it down here. What's the peak or something? Uh, we're going to mix it till stiff peaks, and then you fold it into the mixture, and you get, like, the creamiest. It's like eating liquid whipped ice cream. Look what mommy's doing, Rustin. Look what mama's doing. I mean, this is fun to do with the family. Like I said, if you're dairy free, just uh, use coconut milk from the can. Because I want to do the real deal. We'll do it tomorrow with coconut milk. I'm going to make a video with Rose tomorrow. And I'll do it dairy free for you. How about that, all right? Katarina, she moves in mysterious uh, ways. Uh, that's Love that song. It's almost there. Show people the different. Show that again. Art, come in. So, how do you know where peaks of egg whites are? You turn it over like Desi's going to do. You here. look for them. You look, and it'll be a Viagra test here. See, oh, they need Viagra. That's not stiff. Okay? I'd say those are medium peaks. Oh, look at Rosie. Julio <laughs> just got the autographed copy. Mazel tov to you. Yeah, you got it, Annette. I mean, we're dairy-free, too, but I just want to make it legit, too legit to quit. Mm -hmm. That's for Daddy Rose, the marker. I don't want I you... I say just beat it some more and pipe it into pot of chew instead. I don't want to beat it more. Than okay. That. Sounded good. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's grand. I think it's grand. And now? Now you're supposed to fold it into that. Oh, 
So. Once it cools down. Or? Yeah, Milwaukee I mean, it's going to take a, a little time to cool down. Five dollars okay. super chat. A Google search indicates wow, that that really fructose good. stuff is similar to inulin. Really? Interesting. Did you use any cream of tartar in these egg whites? No, we didn't need to. Yeah, bad's a great one. That's interesting because inulin is is like a fiber. It's not a sweetener. It reminds me of that word isomaltogenital. That's not good. So let me do some research. Uh, Milwaukee. How's the temperature on this? Oh, it's actually cooling down quite quickly. It just needs a couple minutes. Let's just put this to the side. And then we'll get the uh, salmon in the... Uh, oh my God. Just uh, taste this, baby. No, no, just taste it. Just taste it. Just lick the spoon. Here, try that. Yeah, delicious. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Wow, so I, I mean, now we can do a little schnickel. Rosie's like, well, nothing for me. Yeah, I can't entrust, unfortunately, Rosie to add the vanilla because no. if you saw last video. the last video on the Flavor City Facebook page, our pancakes called for a teaspoon of vanilla and she put probably three tablespoons. They were the booziest pancakes ever. So I'm just going to do this, Rose. See, Daddy, how it goes? Just a schnickel. That's a, sh a schnickel, right? A schnickel? Yeah, no, not a schnickel. And then... We'll throw a little bit of nutmeg in there too. Milwaukee Brewer says, uh, it sounds like a fiber that offers up a sweet flavor. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, Rose, I got a job for you. You want to- uh, uh, Brad, <clears throat> I was on the Great impression summer. it was Dave the Edge Evans, but where's the somebody close. else. Oh, uh, no. Where's the whole Where's nutmeg? That? I wasn't aware that that would be a Here we question. Go. Here, Rose. Oh, we need some more bit. We're basically out. Uh-oh. Fresh out during the season. That's a crime. Here, Rosie, you have them spiegel. Good day. Can you grate some uh, farting emoji? Oh, like this, Rosie? I'm going to drop it in the milk. I'm not worried about Rusty and doing that. Okay. Can you grate it, Rosie? There we go. Thank you, Viviana. Mm hmm. Like this, Rose. Look. Bum, 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 have you bum, seen Paula Dean do an eggnog? Apparently, she's got one. Um, No, I haven't seen that one. I've seen Alton Brown do it. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, they're either cooked or uncooked. It's not rocket science, right? As Emerald would say. Oh yeah, let's get the fish in the oven, and then I can chop a little salad if you want. Got bad stuck in my no head salad. now. No salad, okay? Which is not a bad thing. And then I think we'll add booze to order. I mean, because I want Rostine to have a little shot. She's gonna love it because she loves my protein smoothies from the gym. Jane Doe says she terrible camera work. Seconds, are you kidding? Yeah, when I make my protein, can we show her moccasins by the way, Art? When I make my protein smoothie when I get home from the gym, she goes gaga. Terrible like, camera work. I can't see anybody clearly. What's the issue here? Change your settings on your YouTube player. You're at, by default, you're at a crappy resolution. That's YouTube's fault. That's not my fault. That's assault, brother. I'm doing my best. <laughs> like I said, Amy, I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. Slash, he didn't do YouTube's riff. He hardly ever uses a delay on his guitar the way Edge does. Rocket surgery, that's what it is here. There we go. So, I was at Costco today filming a video that's going to come out tomorrow. They have a new keto chocolate crisp that looks really clean. Crisps. Crisps. Very excited about it. I'll talk about that tomorrow and all that good stuff. Uh, my friend over at Laird wanted me to give a shout out again to the Activate, the greens powder, which is unbelievable. So make sure to check that out tomorrow when I talk about it. Also, I got this. Has anyone heard of this company? They make probiotics. They're called Seed. It's supposed to be a very, oh, a very high quality probiotic. I'm looking forward to trying that. So I got this, look at the price on this, $9.99 a pound, which is actually, to be fair, the same price as uh, Whole Foods right now. But this is nice because they take, this has the pin bones removed already. This is how I bake salmon. It'll be a little different than normal because I usually um, bake it at 300 degrees but I have the um, sweet potatoes going at 400, and I don't want to lower it. So um, the, reason, the reason why I normally do that is because um, too high heat for salmon can push the protein to the surface. And it looks like white fat on the top, but it's actually not fat. It's protein. It's like on a windy day when you look at the ocean, there's all these bubble, bubbles on top. And I'm like, Michael Jackson, I like bubbles. Well, it's not fat from the ocean. It's the protein, right? Lisa Vineyard, $15 super chat. Thank May you, Lisa. you all have a wonderful holiday, and thank you a million times for all of your time, research, thank and dedication. You. you are all appreciated. Oh, wow, thank you so much. Loved. And plenty of uh, 
emojis there. Thank, Thank you, you so much. To all a good night. Oh, the juice is flying in my face. <laughs> Can I get a piece of parchment to lay down here? This is how I cook wild salmon. My only issue with sockeye salmon, uh, what's the other uh, really popular one? Is it coho? They're just so lean. It's just so easy to overcook, which is why like in the cookbook, I like to make five ingredient patties out of them. But to ensure they don't get too dry, I literally just bathe them in ghee. You'll see what I mean. What happened? Ice? That's eh, okay. So if you're gonna eat farm-raised salmon, something we do also, it's gotta be really high quality farm-raised salmon. You know, my favorite is from a company called Moe. You can get it on Amazon Fresh. Uh, if not, I get the one from uh, Whole Foods for $10 a pound. Uh, that's good too. But I, I do Amazon. Yes. I do prefer wild salmon, but there's a time and a place for each. You know, if I'm making a juicy, crispy skin salmon, I'm not gonna use this because it's gonna dry out like nobody's business. Jackie Adam Spiegel, twenty four ninety nine. Hi, Bobby. I want to buy more Flav City t-shirts. Are they still available? I want to buy for family and friends. The quality is awesome. Thank you. The quality is really, really good. Jackie, they won't be on sale again till probably February. It's a very limited window that they're on sale, but I will let you know for sure. According to Gotu Jane, Coho is less fishy than sockeye. Oh, it's interesting. I don't really find this too fishy per se, but that's good to know. They're just very lean, and I like fatty fish because it's tastier. Fat's good, and it won't dry out. Uh, are you gonna make this bag wise Yeah, yeah. Here, why don't you do it now? So let's do this. Let's, <laughs> let me clean this bowl out here. Canada says, Art, Rose is talking. Trust me, I speak to her. Give her a paper and a crayon. Be a good uncle. Do you have paper and a crayon that I can give her? Yeah, fold it. So let's mix the. So just to make sure there's no lumps or clumps in the eggnog itself. What about steelhead oh, salmon? Yeah, I want to strain it. Uh, steelhead, I'm not as sure about. Hold on a second. But let's do this. So just in case there might be some Hold on, why you scrambles in there, some curt... <laughs> Russ, this is going bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. They were playing that song at Whole Foods yesterday. They were. It's a great mix yesterday at Whole Foods. Top notch. <laughs> Milwaukee Brewers says my Flav City t-shirt is on a world tour. UPS <laughs> detoured it to Redmond, Washington. Oh, that hurts. From Nashville, Wisconsin. All right, all right, check it out. So we're going to strain it. That's going to do a couple things. We'll make sure it's very smooth, but in case I scrambled anything, which I didn't, it would catch it. Now, Dislav goes in. Maggie B says give Rose a salt to pinch. <laughs> little egg, little salt in the egg, that might be a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm down with that. A stickle. A stickle? A stickle or twang of salt. We're at 1,003 people watching right now. How many? 1,008. Welcome, everyone. If you haven't done so yet, please leave a comment down below. Fold, fold, fold. It's not working. It's very liquid. Well, it's supposed to be liquidy. You can't fold it. Mm. You got to sacrifice a little bit of it. And just start yeah. it in and then whip it. it. Here, use this to start. Use a whisk to start. I just got a super chat from Lower Diamant, two, Diamant, two Canadian dollars. It's a toonie. Thank you so much. I'll take a toonie. Thank you so and much for that. And it's an emoji, an animated emoji saying, me, 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 me. Okay. So, salt on the fish. But the real kicker, of what, first of all, the color is beautiful. It's going to be loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. Just great, great stuff. When I cook it this way, I do not eat the skin because it will not get crispy. It stays very, very wet and you don't want it. And then just a inch, oh wow. Just to ensure that it doesn't dry out, I open up a, a can of whoop butt, no, a can of uh, ghee. And this is what I do, Art. The Thrive Market, always get grass-fed ghee. The one from Thrive Market is the best value on the market. Thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. I'll put a stickle here, a stickle there. And a shtickle. I was just and joking. A stickle everywhere. Yeah. I gotta light the menorah for the last night too. No fire today. No. That that was goal number one. That's why I'm like I make eggnog. <laughs> goal number one. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. I have a reminder on my phone to give away my grill. I took a picture today. I'm gonna list it on Craigslist tonight. And I guarantee someone will be here tomorrow by noon to pick it up for free. Renee Denham, Art, 
I just bought a signed copy of the cookbook on the link in the live stream. Will all of you sign it, I hope? Yes, we'll do it for you, Renee. So that will take about 20-ish minutes. The thing is we're doing it at slightly higher heat than normal because I have the um, sweet taters in there. Guten Abend to Marianne Brunk from Cologne, Germany. Oh my God, it's way in night, Rose. Friday night, way in. Okay, let's try a little bit of this There's eggnog. Right no, they're still cooking it. So, let's put this in the nice winter mug here. Okay. I think we need to like make a gif of that fireball known as your grill. Like, <laughs> I think we will. All right, all right, check it out. It looks like ice cream. It looks like melted ice cream, guys. Oh my gosh, come on. All right, you take it here. Gosh, I wish I brought the, uh, the moose glasses. Oh, I should have told you about it. You should have told me ahead of time. Okay, we'll put it in the mug. You're making a mess. Yeah, I'm making a mess. I don't think I've ever had homemade eggnog. Really? I, I haven't either. Okay, now I'll take, it's Friday after all, we'll take some USA bourbon. Well, I'm not in this one. I won't try you, you can't have a little bourbon? Well, let's try with it. Let's try without. Let's try without. Little okay, hold on. And then hold on. First, yeah, Rebecca we'll take... Rob, it's a limited stash of signed books, so you'll have to check and see if there's Yeah, limited available. supply of that and very limited of this. The Flay City Immune Tea is sold out, but I told Erica to release 50 of our immune, uh, our emergency stash, just in case uh, you guys were interested in ordering it. So those links are down below. You're going to want to hop on that. The immune tea has been selling out in 24 hours after every, every dump of uh, product. Nayi wants to know what's the description that you're going to use on the grill when you put it on Craigslist. I bet no, it's free. I don't have to do much. This is the grill that almost killed me. Cheers. Look at that. Homemade eggnog. I ain't got this at Whole Foods, right? The amount of sugar in here is minuscule and it's maple sugar compared to cane sugar. Oh my God. Uh. It Rose. Looks, it looks like that's what they may have used in the... Uh, Rose milk, is swallowing. Milk oh, my God. Yeah, yeah uh, Betty, Give they mommy. are the Christmas vacation glasses. Oh, oh, oh. That is sinfully good. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. OMG, Rose. You want to try? Free grill, as wow. seen on Die Hard. That's like a liquid... Uh, shake. Liquid, yeah, liquid shake. Could you use maple syrup? I'm not sure it'd be the same because you really are Try beating the eggs with the sugar. So it's not quite the same. Let's try it with a little shtickle of bourbon in there. Stickle. Oh, oh look at Rose. Rose. How is that? A little bit of bourbon in there. Try some more. Try some more. That was more bourbon wow, than I thought. That's good. That's like nice. Wow, wow, wee wow. The bourbon? Did you mix it? Yeah, try a little shake all that. Oh my god, Rose. This is so exciting. It's nice. Wow. Yippee kaye. Yippee kaye. We gotta watch that, man. Yeah, I mean, tonight. Oh, is that good, Mishka? Ah, Doggy! Finally, you're Betty good. Betty O, uh, send me a message it. on Instagram at oh. Arthur Almasy, A R T H U R A L M A S S Y. I could use a reminder oh. as to. Merry Christmas. Num, 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 Rose. Those that is exciting. Hmm? Oh, that is so good. If you're going to buy one <laughs> at the store, either Organic Valley or Kelowna Supernatural is your best option in terms of quality and less sugar, but nothing, I repeat, oh. nothing is like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> nothing. We're going to film a video tomorrow for this, and then we'll post it on Instagram and maybe YouTube too. Go to Flav City Instagram, follow me, Desi underscore art, at Rose Honey P. We'll have the recipe out. Oh. More. Tomorrow or Monday. Okay, Only, or here's Sunday. One. Here's from from Gochujang. You know what's better than a little bourbon? What's that? A lot of bourbon. <laughs> oh wow, Rostine. Can I get a high five? High five? Daddy did it. The eggnog is lit, <laughs> even without fire. It is, thank you. Wow. And it's nice because we pasteurized it. So young Rostine. Well, egg whites are not. Ah, it's egg whites. You don't have to worry about that. Welcome to the Flav City team, Gizmo. Hey, if you haven't joined the Flav City channel membership, there's a join button down below. You get uh, a special uh, tag next to your name and use of 15 different emojis. Wait, let's give Art a nice cup here. 
All right, we're gonna get a fancy mug like this. What's fancy? Oh, it is fancy. You gotta, you gotta do a little shtickle of bourbon. You wanna try it by itself first. Does it change the flavor profile? Yes, it does. Well, then let's start out with none and then okay. try some wit. You gotta make goju drink happy. Okay. No, that was yummy, huh? It almost seems like that was yummy. Go this is what they used in those milk mustache commercials from uh, Probably, the dude. early thousands. So I can feel my stomach already been back in. <laughs> Back in aught three or whatever that was. Oh, where's that in the nineties? I just dropped, you dropped the whole thing. In I dropped there? the whole thing. In. <laughs> Let me fish it out for Arthur. Yeah. If I can. Hmm. Viviana, you got a boot class like in Inglorious Bastards? I thought they had like boot oh, classes is. in that. Here Tracy, is. David, fifty dollars super chat. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy. Happy, happy holidays to Flav City family. Tracy, this is for you. Cheers. Alrighty, try that. I will. Oh my God, y'all! I'll go selfie style. That is amazing. Thank you again, Tracy. <laughs> Kelly Lavac recommends seed. Oh, very cool. I'm gonna check it out. That is so good. Mm. It's dreamy. Dreamy. It's creamy and dreamy, right? I've never had uh, homemade eggnog. This is way better than the uh, stuff from the car. Ready for the bourbon? Yeah. All right. Okay. Right. Let me mix it up. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mix it up. I mean, warm it up, Chris. I'm about to. It tastes really good because the bourbon with the eggs is c'est magnifique. I was concerned how this mustache would go with my real mustache. <laughs> wow. Wow. Right? Wow. That is an insane, insane drink. Wow. Insane in the membrane is what it That's is. It's really good. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh, you got to wash it down with... Uh, <laughs> Quick trip gas station banana cake. It's like, Here, hold on. It's, they're the same color even. Tell yeah. the backstory behind that again. Going way back or just yesterday? Yesterday. Okay. So Dirk, who was here yesterday, brought... No, I go through this camera. Went to uh, Quick Trip, which is a gas station very common in Wisconsin. And they've got this banana cake bar, which has a lot of sugar, as you can see there. One serving 55 grams. And uh, anyways, he put it in Bobby's freezer, and Bobby wasn't looking, and Desi wasn't looking, and the intention was that uh, it would stay there for a while, and then eventually be like, how'd this get there? They found it in one day. <laughs> it was unfortunate, but at least it was a surprise. Let me get a fork. Yeah, but there's 55 grams of sugar in that square right there. That is a diabetes cake. I can't Obviously, a brother, he, he brought it as a joke, but I was going to have that with the egg nod. It's going to be... I'm having a sample of this. Your teeth might rot live on YouTube. Nah. I brush my teeth well. <laughs> I do. I don't brush my teeth. What are you talking about? <laughs> Woo! That cake is actually really good. There you go, Rose. Hey, you got the brush right here. Yeah, the, the ladies are loving Art's uh, facial hair. Dude, Bobby, you're missing out eating these two sides. They are <laughs> the perfect compliments. Wolf and Brimley would have loved the cakes as good. Seriously, they go well together. Do it. It's the holidays. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. One bite. I'm, I'm good. Thank You'll you. You'll taste it if you're one of us. I knew. I know what it tastes like. Here's what I'll do. Just, I'm not going to swallow it. Swallow it. <laughs> one bite. With the eggnog. Hold on, you like, do this? It's like, it's, it's pivotal. With some eggnog. I just do. Oh my God! With the egg, with there, the egg. there's so with, much sugar in here. Right? Oh, that's it is nice. disgusting. It's literally yeah. disgusting. It's, I think it tastes good. Mmm. <gasps> ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Guys, it, cloyingly sweet is not the word. That is it's, disgusting. It's actually pretty good. That is absolutely disgusting. If you ate the whole thing, you would die. No. <laughs> You would get diabetes if you eat the whole I'm thing. I'm really well tomorrow, though. That is freaking insane. Holy cow. Yeah, you eat this all the time, you get diabetes. But mm -hmm. this, I'm done now. This is enough for me. Holy shnikey balls. That is kooky for Cocoa Puffs. Wow. Dang. Wow. Arturo lives in the edge. <laughs> I'm just going to take this home. Sure, why not? I'm going to put it in the freezer. Put it yeah. in the freezer. Put the freezer. I want it to be frozen. Do you want to put, the, put that in there too? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Can't let it waste. I think it might be good frozen. Hey, the beautiful pastry shop of Quick Trip. <laughs> Goshi Thing says, how did you actually miss the garbage can? 
Oh, with the spit? Yeah, I hope I, you got I it. I did miss because I was so appalled I had to get it out of my mouth. Oh, see, so you did miss. I thought it was just like a depth. No, just like a little schnickle. Just a schnickle. A depth perception thing. Char Troyer in the house. What's up, Char? Oh my god, my mouth is like literally all sugar right now. Ah, I need some salt to like offset. Oh no, a little salt lick. Wow. D, thank you for doing that to me again. Uh, D says, try them with burnt short ribs. <laughs> Actually, that would be better to have something kind of bitter with the sweetness. <laughs> that was crazy. So the eggnog makes one, two, three to four servings. Delicious. I can feel my stomach kind of like tensing up already. We got a super chat it. here from La La Girl, 555. Bobby, we can't thank you enough for getting me and my sister Debbie. Sister Debbie, that's her name. Through this last year we are in the best shape ever thanks to you that's what it's all about feeling good you and debbie awesome supporters yeah but by the way end of the year thank you all for supporting the channel right we pretty much never ask you for anything except to support buy a book here and there and we're having great times now we're rolling out our own products like tea and you're supporting that so thank you for supporting us not just this year but someone like shar has been with us for five plus years um and we really really appreciate that so i Come back here. I'll bet because I'm baking this a bit hotter, you're gonna see some of that white cake or white protein on top of the fish a little bit. See, I knew it. So uh, this is not fat, this is protein. And when you bake your fish too hot, 400's too hot, this is what happens. I mean, it's not gonna do anything too much. It might dry it out a little more, but It'll this is a- It's fine. It's gonna taste fine, but it's ugly. It looks like it has like- um, Leprosy. Leprosy, that's good. Thank you, leprosy. Um, but it's not. Uh, oh, Jen H. in Canada says, love you all. Bobby, still need to send you that email. We'll do that Sunday, I think. Gotta okay, go Jen. You let me know. A lot, of, Almost all the fan emails, for some reason, go to a junk folder. So oh, sometimes I good. miss them. It's really weird. Somebody said uh, I'm doing like a Magnum PI type thing with my uh, beard. <laughs> I think when the beard goes, it might have to stay as a mustache. Julio is the one that said that. Well, Magnum is a mustache, right? Right, so I might have to go mustache once the beard is done. So how do I know it's done? I stick the probe in here, and I want to yank it at about... 128. It's only at 106 right now, so it needs a few more minutes. Oh, Jay Hyden wants me to do the eggnog mustache. Okay. I'll oh, make, nice. I'll make sure I get a good swig and do that. So it's not quite there yet. Get one of these for the holidays. If you're making a roast, you won't overcook it. It's very important. Shark Troyer. Amazon shop page. Super chat. Oh, sure. Thank 19 .99. you. 19.99. Too sweet of you, Shark. Shar. Shar's from Michiana. She's been around forever. Would love all your support. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Stangman says, convection, smiley face. Uh, for this, I don't think it really matters, uh, Stangman. These are done. Let's, let me see how this mustache thing Yeah, I'll put goes. this back in for a few more minutes. Go selfie style so we can get the full experience. I like to overcook it just a little bit. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Arthur. You happy now? <laughs> Mm. Are you? Look what you did to Art! Look what you did to Art! What you made me do! <laughs> what you made me do! Uh, let me see how many cookbooks are left. What you made me do. In case people are still trying. Mustache and the mustache. All right, That's so, a mess. Oh, wow. We got a lot that. of orders here. We got uh, 70. If you have a beard, 80. avoid getting an eggnog beard too, because that's just a mess. We got uh, 18 orders Renee, Richard, Lisa, Terry, Debbie, Tracy, Rebecca, Roy. We got a few more signed cookbooks available. Okay. Eggnog all over myself. We'll sign those next week for y'all. Oh, I'm getting upset. <laughs> How do I get Bobby's tea? Uh, the Flav City tea, the first link in the description box right here. So like I said, we're actually sold out of tea, but I had Erica release right here. She released 50 teas just for you guys. So it seems there's a few available still. Um, but every time we've dropped about a thousand or two thousand, they've sold out within 12 hours. This is the Flav City Immune Tea, right? It's my turmeric ginger immune boosting tea powder. It's the powdered shelf stable version of the liquid tea made with best in class ingredients, really good at anti-inflammatory and immune boosting properties. Okay. That eggnog with the bourbon is really good, y'all. Amazing I'm, with the cake. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, can't go to the quick trip and drive and drink the eggnog. Yes. So. Let's uh, light the last uh, candle here for the eighth night. I'm going to stand back here. On the eighth night, we're making 
Just don't knock it over. Let it grow. <laughs> no. We're making eggnog for the last night of Hanukkah, all right? So here we go. Move everything flammable away. All right. Baruch Adonai. Eloheinu melech alam, asher kedushanu ba mitzvotav, v'tzivanu lechaleg ner, sher Hanukkah. Oh Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah, let's have a party. <laughs> I took art off guard there. Oh. I didn't know there was a deer stand behind me. Happy Hanukkah, y'all. Happy eighth night of Hanukkah to all celebrating tonight. That's right. Happy, happy Hanukkah. It's, it's the eighth night of Hanukkah and it's Shabbat too. Wow, what a Shalom. mitzvah, right? I, right, Jackie? Thank you. <laughs> Let's have a party. We'll all dance the hora. Gather around the table. We'll give you a treat. You know that song, Ern? Uh, something like that, yeah. And while we are dancing, the candles are burning low. Thank I just you. Know the Hanukkah song by Adam Sandler. That's, yeah, it's a little different. I grew up Are you going to post that, a recipe for the eggnog? Yes, I'll post it this weekend when the video with Rose goes live. Tomorrow morning, I want to film a video of us making it. It'll go on the Flav City page probably that afternoon, so tomorrow afternoon, and I'll post it because you want to make this for eggnog. How many servings are in this tea? 30. It's a 30-day supply, so it's $1 a serving. We'll try to get that cost down as we get more economies of scale, but everything is... Uh, everything but the lemon is organic there. There's no maltodextrin. There's no yeast extract. There's no artificial flavors. There's no natural flavors. It's very expensive to make, but it's way, way worth it. Okay. You're worth it. Yeah, I, you're worth it. Good point, Art. Let me check where this is at. Happy Shabbat, Bobby. Thank you so Jackie. much. I appreciate that. We're at... No, we're still not there. Is One. the song from Tetris of Jewish origin? That I don't know. So we're not there yet. It's of Russian origin, isn't it? I'm not even sure what that is. The Tetris song. How does it go? Uh, I can't think of it, but once I hear it, I'll ah, okay. recognize it. <clears throat> no, Bobby's not buzzed. Don't somebody, worry. Somebody type the way the song goes, hmm. if you can. I don't get buzzed from just a, a shtickle of bourbon. I am a lightweight. The tea is cleaner than clean. Well said. That was Lala. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> Okay. Wait until Rose gets a bit older. Has to broil it now. Nah, with this fish, bro, it's gonna dry out like nobody's beeswax. So Stacy Schuler says that the last night of Hanukkah was last night. Um, not according to Google. So I don't know, Jackie. What's going on? You tell me. Simon says Hanukkah's today too. Simon says. Simon says. Simon says, eggnog. Eggnog every night. Ooh, I don't know if I can imagine, handle that. Imagine not a fat That's in here. Too much eggnog. Mm -hmm. This coming from the lactose intolerant guy. I'm gonna poop my pants by the time the live stream is done. Nice. Last night was last night. Jackie says. Really? Interesting. Why does it say on uh, uh, Google that tonight's the last night? Ah, Goju Jane, give that sake some lemon love. I like the way you think, Goju. Hashtag poop my pants. Nice. Google says tonight. Is Google giving me fake news? I don't know what's going on. Either I was, way. I was counting. I thought yesterday was eight. It's, I don't know. Yeah, we had that conversation yesterday. Hanukkah mm -hmm. ends at sundown. The last night was last night. Hmm, interesting. Eh, better late than never. Do you guys use a pre-workout and or other supplements? I don't do pre-workout, but when I get home from the gym, I always make a post-workout smoothie. And what I do is I use, this is one of the best plant-based proteins on the market. This and Four Sigmatic are amazing plant-based uh, mushroom and adaptogen filled protein powders. And then I add a scoop of this. This is new. I'll have a, a link in tomorrow's uh, Costco video. This is the cleanest superfood greens powder with prebiotics and adaptogens and mushrooms and something called Shilajit, which is from the Himalayan rock. Shilajit. Shilajit it's a uh, Himalayan superfood rich in fulvic acid. These two with a frozen banana or frozen blueberries, if you want lower carb, a scoop of uh, almond butter, almond milk, the best smoothie you can possibly ever make. Can we get the eggnog recipe? Yes, I will post that uh, tomorrow on Facebook because we're going to do a video with Rose and I. I wanted to make sure it still worked and I'll post that tomorrow. 
So look forward to the Flav City Facebook page, the video tomorrow. And if you're not a member of the Flav City Facebook group, uh, it's a really cool uh, group that I started, never advertised it, and we have like 40,000 members. It's for fans, by fans. I don't really go in there very much, but search Flav City Group on Facebook. You can join Char's an administrator, Dirk's an administrator. It's very fun. Uh, somebody said it was still Hanukkah when we started, so. Oh, okay. Well, anyways. We got something, right? Uh, okay. I'm going to make homemade tamales with your homemade eggnog. There we go. Homemade tamales? Yeah. How do you do that? With eggnog? No, I think they're going to make tamales and make oh, your... Oh, tamales and eggnog? Yeah. Damn, that sounds amazing, bro. That sounds like a new Christmas tradition. Wait, that sounds phenomenal. Let's make gochujang happy now. Get some lemon out of here. We'll put a little bit of gochujang on there, too. <laughs> we didn't use it last night, after all. Yeah, that, that I'm not too sure about. I can't wait to get rid of that grill. Do you approve your super? Do I approve what? Hey, you! My super? It says, do you approve, quote, your super, end quote. I don't know what that means. Okay. Yes, my sweet love. Look at the candles. Yeah, tamales on Christmas is a Texas thing, Stang Man. It's all a Texas thing. Yeah, that oh, makes yeah. sense. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the fishy, Rose. The fish is done. Let's take a little bit of lemon here. All right, we'll just squeeze it over the top to make Bradley happy. <laughs> Jay Hyten says, well, we saw Art's mustache. Now we have to see you run around with poop in your pants. <laughs> I don't know if the two equate. I don't think you want to see that. I'm just saying. A uh, little more, Rose? Mm. Wow. Uh, Rebecca Robb has Meyer lemons from Costco. Really? Well, you're in California. That's why, right? Yes. And some California people get like wild chanterelle mushrooms in their Costco, too. Amazing. Um... What's the best chicken sausage for Christmas breakfast? You know what? There really Baby. isn't one. You kind of have to Baby. make your own. Buy organic Baby. ground chicken from Whole Foods and season it with smoked paprika, fennel, cumin, salt, and pepper, and make patties. There's really, I don't know any raw, organic uh, chicken sausages out there. D. Brown says, I guess I wore out my welcome. The girls didn't want any of those bars. <laughs> I don't think that has to do with your welcome, D. Oh, Caroline clarified. Look up, quote, your super. It's a plant-based protein powder. Oh, a plant-based protein powder? Yeah. Let's do it right now, because I guarantee it's not going to be as good as your, for somatic. Not your, your super. So how do you spell that? Y-O-U-R. Y-O-U-R super protein. I guarantee it won't be as good as for sigmatic or the other one from Laird. Okay, so here it is. Right, look. Your super chocolate protein. Mm -hmm. Let's see, chocolate protein, ingredient, hello, you have ingredients anywhere? Meyer lemons at Trader Joe. Yeah, oh, well yeah, they're in stock now, they have them at uh, Whole Foods, so where's the ingredients here? I don't know. Uh, okay. Oh, it's by this couple here, I think this actually might be decent. Let me see, shop now. Uh, I don't want a bundle. I just want like, I just want protein Probably powder. Not. Actually, this TBD. one might be good, actually. TBD. I just can't find uh, a bottle of protein here. What, what is so hard here? Detox bundle, super green, skinny protein mix. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. All right. So where's the ingredients? You can click and expand it. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. It was a magnifying glass. Okay, so here's my issue, right? Organic pea protein, hemp protein, moringa, spirulina, alfalfa. Not bad. Uh, any other things? No. But this, to me, is a very basic nutritional profile. I prefer something that has more um, nutrients in there. For example, that's decent. But compare that to this. When you're getting protein powder, you really want to get a different array of protein, but other minerals and vitamins. So for example, this is the layered one. It's got three or four different forms of protein here. Hemp, sacha inchi, which is an Aztec and seed, pumpkin. But then you get chlorella, cranberry, then changa, lion's mane, cordyceps, 
maitake, and a little bit of coconut water. These adaptogens and mushrooms set it off for me. And art is all about adaptogens. All about, it's all about I live for adaptogens. So this is much more preferable. When you add all these other superfoods, mushrooms, and adaptogens, it makes it much more complex than just protein. That's not bad, but I'd rather go above and beyond if I can. Okay, that's it. We're gonna serve up the salmon. We're gonna serve up the sweet potatoes with a big knob of butter in there. And uh, we're gonna do the recipe. Watch your fingers. With roasting, roast tomorrow. We'll do, and see she knows, she got her, uh, her apron. Tomorrow, Rose, we'll do a video. We'll make eggnog. We'll post it on Facebook in the afternoon. Baby. Yeah, babies. And we are give the recipe to you guys. I'll post it over to the Flav City community page. Um, if you haven't joined the Flav City channel yet, there's a join button down below. You get access to emojis and a badge next to your name. One last call for uh, signed cookbooks down below. They will not be there in time for uh, Christmas. And the Flav City Immune Tea is down there for you guys. Um, we released it just for y'all before the wanted, live stream. Somebody wanted to know where you got those snowflake mugs. You know what? I get so many questions about that. And Desi, they were a gift from Lisa. They were a gift. They're from CB2. I had a CB2, but they were from years ago. No, but actually a fan Googled it and she bought a set of 12. So you can still get it. Search CB2 snowflake mugs. My cousin gave it to me as a um, secret Santa. And because I did a video with Rose with um, hot cocoa, the five ingredient hot cocoa from the book. And I got a bunch of emails. Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? It's just so funny what people see. So yeah, and then we have the snowflakes like um, ceramic. Yeah, it's a set, so you can get those, and then I believe it comes with. Where is it? Crate and barrel says La La Girl. Crate and barrel, okay, yeah. Wait, come, oh, it comes with this. These little snowflake uh, dishes you can put nuts and whatnot in. So it's pretty cool. Good to know you can still get it. So that is it you guys awesome time of hanging out making eggnog a little bit of dinner on the side and uh that's it so tomorrow we got a costco video sunday we got nothing going on because i'm taking it easy at the end of the year and uh he's just gonna be drinking eggnog i'm gonna be yeah. drinking eggnog no, live stream for christmas. what's that live stream for christmas with skype and uh, oh yeah we'll do another live stream uh christmas eve. christmas eve vegan christmas eve because we do eastern orthodox now that's what next wednesday night thursday Thursday. Exciting. Beth just joined the Flavor City team. All right, guys. For Rose Steenith, DJ D. Slav, Arthur T. Amacy, the Bearded Wonder, and myself. Sapper Chat. Oh, Sapper Jackie! My microphone's dying, so you'll have to read it. $25 holler. Bobby and the Flav City family, thanks for everything you do. Your products are excellent. We love your live videos, especially cooking with the sweet little Rose. Happy holidays to all. You're so funny, handsome, and good looking. Well, thank you, Jackie. I appreciate all those things. Might have added on a little something myself there, but that's it, you guys. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later. My stomach's starting to hurt from the eggnog already, but I can't stop drinking, stop drinking it. I can't. Oh, you won't. I won't. Oh, it. Prepare some matches for later. Ha! <laughs> yes, he's going to get fumigated out of here.